all these videos might be all well and good, but how do I actually learn with them? Hello and welcome to this introduction to our VHDL crash course. The video is intended to help you learn how to use the following videos and provide you with useful hints. The series of 8 videos on VHDL fundamentals aims to support you in your learning process by explaining the most important concepts of modeling hardware. You can use these videos as an introduction to this topic. However, the videos do not cover all the relevant details. For this reason, you should not only learn with them, but also watch the additional materials. Let's have a look on how to actually learn with these videos. Since you will most likely be watching this video series alone, we recommend you to make use of the so-called self-regulated learning process, which is divided into three steps. Forethought, phase of action and self-reflection. So let's go through these three steps. To work with the videos, first create a quiet learning environment in which audio and visual influences are minimized. This will focus your attention on the essentials and create a good basis for capturing the information better. Also, allow a little more time for the entire learning phase. Depending on the situation, it may be useful to apply what you have learned directly after watching the video and, for example, create your own code. By trying to apply what you have just learned, you can store the information better in your long-term memory and retrieve the knowledge more quickly later. While watching the video, take notes on the content. Of course, each of you has your own learning methods. However, it is important that you filter the information and only write down the essentials. This will make it easier for you to process the information in your brain. A little pro tip, you remember the content better if you take handwritten notes. Important information is always shown in a text field in the bottom left hand corner of the image. You can pause the video as soon as an overlay appears to take notes. In addition, all the information displayed is shown again in the summary at the end of each video. This gives you a brief overview of the most important content of the video at the end so that you don't miss any detail. Sometimes you will also find codes in a green box at the top left of the videos. I explain these in detail when they are included in the video, like in this example. Illustrations are also shown in the same place in the videos to visualize important content. If the speed of what is being said seems too fast for you, Pause the video and watch the corresponding section again. This will allow you to reinforce the content. And if something is still unclear, stop the video and look for a suitable explanation in the other documents or on the internet. Finally, after you have watched the video, briefly reflect on your learning progress. Ask yourself, whether you have really understood everything and check your notes. Try to answer the questions in the attached quiz. If you still have unanswered questions at the end, use the additional resources provided to find further explanations. Perfect. Now you have reached the end of the learning cycle and you can start the next video after a short break. Let's summarize. If you follow this advice to learn with our videos, it will be easier for you to remember the basic concepts of VHDL and you will be well prepared to start developing digital hardware on your own. Music